Today I'm making a patch. And again, this is my method, how I do it, what's more, what's been successful for me in doing patches. I have my water soluble stabilizer hooped, which I'm using soap and wash. Again, I'm using soap and wash water soluble stabilizer. It's a mesh stabilizer. And I have it hooped already. I have my fabric already prepared that I'm going to make the patch on. And I have my heat and bond light on the back of the fabric already. And I'm going to lightly spray my stabilizer because I'm going to float my fabric and get it all smoothed out. And I will be back once it stitches and show you the next step. Okay, I have my border for my patch stitched. So now I'm going to just lightly iron the inside so that my heat and bond ad adheres to the stabilizer. And I have that all done. So now I will be back once the wording stitches out for the patch and show you the next step. My patch is already stitched out everything that it's going to say. So now I didn't unhoop it. Don't unhoop it at this point. Now I'm going to trim around the border like you would do any applique. And I'll be back once that is done. Let me show you real just to start. I'm going to trim real close around the, the patch and I'll be back. Okay, I've trimmed around the patch like an applique real close. Now I'm going to go stitch the final stitch which is the satin stitch around the um, ap around the patch and I'll be back and show you the final steps. Okay, my satin stitch has stitched. I'm all finished. The patch is done. So now I can unhoop it. And once it's unhooped, I'm, I have a bowl of water and some paper towel just so I won't get my ironing board too wet. And I'm going to wet the tip of the Q-tip. And I'm going to just wet around my water soluble and detach the patch from the water soluble stabilizer and once I finish I'll come back and show you what it looks like all detached from the stabilizer okay it's all detached from the stabilizer it's a little wet which is okay so now I'm gonna let this dry once it dry, I'm going to take my Heat and Bond Ultra, apply it to the back, and that way the patch can be sewn on or ironed on, whatever you want to put it on. And that's how you create a patch.